a certain gas at 101.325 kilopascals. Pressure of our gas is 101.325 and 10 degrees C. Convert that to Kelvin, whose volume is 2.83. Cubic meters are compressed into a storage vessel at 0 0.31 cubic meters of capacity. Let's call that our V1. Before admission, the storage vessel has a pre existing gas at a pressure and temperature of 137.8 kPa and temperature 26C, which is equal to 299 Kelvin. After admission, the pressure increased to 1,171.8 kPa. So that's simply our final pressure. What should be the final temperature of the gas in the uh, in the vessel in Kelvin? So we're looking for T2 in Kelvin. And our final volume should be the same since it is a rigid container. So we need to use the ideal gas law here. PV is equal to MRT. We are looking for the final temperature. So we should put the appropriate subscripts. And of course, our mass. Now, what is this? Well, this is just the addition of the pre existing gas, which is M sub 1. We do that in a different color M sub 1. And of course, the gas we're actually putting into the vessel. So again, we need to use the ideal gas law, or rather, let's start with the with the gas first. Okay. So simply put our values in. These are already in the correct units. Leave R as it is for now. Okay. We should get our mass of the gas. Let's quickly input this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we get a value of 1.01325 per gas constant. You must remember to include this. And now we do the same to the pre-existing gas. Um, yes. Okay. So this one's 137.8. It's so 10.31. We're looking for the mass. Leave the R. And of course, the absolute temperature. Putting that in. 199. Okay, so we get 0 0.14287. Per gas constant. Okay, so we can get our total mass now. Simply add these two together. Uh, 
and that adds up to one point one five six. Okay, so now we have everything we need to find the final temperature. Let's check. We have P2 right here. We have V2 right here. We have MT. And we simply leave R for now. And we're trying to find T2. Okay. Pressure. Volume. Sorry, we're running out of space here, so I'm going to put it down here instead. Oops. Should be where R. Oh, wait, no, that was correct. Okay, so if you've noticed, these cancel out. So we're left with only one variable to find. Now we can simply put that in our calculator. 1.8 times 0.31 divided by 1.156. And that's it. Our final temperature is 314.2. Kelvin. That is our final answer. If this helped you, consider supporting the channel on Patreon, uh, Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.